Jesus Christmas. I get it. Don't f this up. Don't f this up. Oh my god! <laughs> Bro! Bro! <laughs> Gotta keep that to weigh it in. Yo, this is the one you want to weigh. That's good. We're into the fish! <laughs> Shoot to the fish! Picking up three bushels today. All right, we're in a, we're in a back El Mill wholesale bake, my boy Mikey. Oh, there it is, the wall. See, I get taken to these little secret spots here. So this is it, huh? It's dangerous. <laughs> this is nice. It does have a little uh, scary monster feel to it. What's all this stuff? Huh? Just coolers. Just coolers? Your coolers? Empty coolers? Just regular stuff. That's oh, sweet. 45 degrees. So where are you getting these from, Mikey? Boston. Yeah. They're coming from Boston again, huh? Yep. That's it. Mike is shipping these things in from Boston to come down here. They're invasive species. It costs more to ship them than it does to, to <laughs> catch them. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are. They, they are invasive. Invasive yeah. species, I think. They used yeah. to be here, but we effectively killed them all. Yeah, no, we're doing a hell of a job on them. But at least Boston still has their product here, all right? Hi, right, folks. Welcome Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. Joey Tiles and crew over here off the port side. We got Garrett Weir right here. And we got Handsome Mike. He looks, oh geez, and he's on. <laughs> Garrett's on already. All right. We're in shore. We're fishing shallow water right now. And uh, we got a lot of small fish, but we got a couple keepers in the box. All right. Stay tuned. I'm fishing the uh, Tsunamis BG 2500s. Tidal tails, of course. And this is the Tsunami uh, slow pitch rod. It goes up to four ounce of jigs. All right. <laughs> Jigging a little heavier, but uh, we're on fish. Take a peek. All right, guys, this first fish is a small fish, but I just want to show you the action of these uh, rods, these tsunami rods, all right? They got some good bounce to them. These things can handle up to a four-ounce sinker, all right? These are the questions I get from a lot of viewers. What should I use? What rod should I use? So this video here is going to show you the action of these rods on these fish, and you make the decision yourself if you like them or not. I was real pleased with them, and even the Daiwa uh, BG reels were holding up pretty well. You know, no issues, no blow-ups, and uh, these are uh, some feisty little fish here. We get some real good fish today. Fish tiles. Yeah, seven pound fish with a headache for goodness sakes. He does bring some nice chow for the captain, all right? Check out this chow he brings. Good, I got, I got some for us too. That right there is, is jerk turkey, kale, oh, nice. spicy mustard, jalapenos. And uh, Swiss. Delish. All right, guys, I just want to explain real quickly the long butts. 
I keep talking about the long butt with, with these rods, how I picked these rods out. You'll see that I have the butt already loaded under my arm so I can set it up. He, Garrett is uh, just starting to jig right now. So he's got that butt kind of just hanging, hanging loose. But watch when he sets the hook. The butt automatically wants to go under his arm, all right? It's basically action reaction. When that fish pulls down, that rod tip comes up, right? And it locks under his arm, all right? It's taking a split second to do so where, again, I already have mine ready to go and that set hooks that's much truer, but you're definitely gonna set them up like that. As you're lifting that rod tip, what's gonna happen is if you didn't have that long butt, the rod tip would just swing completely and it would be kind of doing this, if that makes any sense, all right? But when it stops under the arm, it gives that, that hook set the opportunity to set, all right? This just could be the quick tip of this video right now is that long butt and these uh, rods and reels you can get over at uh, JNH www.jnh.com all right just ask them for the kids uh, setup and they'll ship it out to you but those long butts are real important at least in my experience you have no experience that holds true with fluking blackfish and everything all right again you have the action reaction and that and that long butt now locks under there and it gives that much better hook set all right try it take a peek at it use a stick to, and you'll ex you'll experience what i'm talking about short butts just don't cut it there's a place for them there's a place for casting them they lighten up the uh, the rod you can cast them as you're reeling uh in say epoxy jigs and stuff like that that's fine but uh as far as when you're doing bottom fishing you want that rod butt to stop and uh, you'll see that again i am locked in already as you'll see it tight under my arm how i fish Wait for the bite, then lift, and then set. All right. If you set too soon, you're gonna see people just you're gonna see people bring it up. It happens all the time with boat people up. I'm not gonna shame anybody here, but you'll see them all foul hook in the belly, in the butt, whatever the hell it is. Because what's happening is multiple fish there, and you just basically snag them like a bunker. And uh, so just have some patience. There's definitely a learning curve in jigging, uh, using jigs for blackfish. That is. All right. So I think I think I think I spoke enough about this. All right? It's all about long putts, not big butts, long putts. Shake these, take care. Let's go to the next thing. Let's go to Con Shadow right now. Who's it gonna be? That guy right there, Nathaniel, all right? Where the heck was he fishing? In a, no, he's from Kentucky. He was fishing and uh, he got a big red snapper there and a redfish. And congratulations to him. I'm trying to think of who was, I don't have his dad's name, but I'm gonna do a voiceover right now. Brian Goff. That's horrible, kid. But I know he's in the United States Marine Corps because he gave me a sample fire at the end. Uh, that's why I wear this right now for this uh, episode. The con shadow of the week is Nathaniel from Kentucky. Yeah, that's bluegrass over there, right? In Kentucky, right? The home of bourbon. How you doing, ladies? Guess the days. All right. That's the con shadow of the week. Nathaniel. Red snapper. Red drum. What else do you want in life right there, right? And of course, a big smile. That's important, too. All right. So let's carry on. Hey, you know, nice over there. <laughs> oh, nice one. Nice one. Here we Take go. Take one of those. Uh, you're going to have to handle it like yourself. I'm going to limit it out. So. Oh, He's a male. His head looks nice and big. I love when they come up white like that. Here we go, baby. Nice. Beauty. Oh, right there. Beauty. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> See, I got to curse him. I have to curse him. What's that? He came back for that bait four times. <laughs> That's a curse that you make you catch fish. <laughs> Little guy, that one. Come to Papa. It's a baby. It's a baby. All right, folks, so we're on fish pretty good out there, right? All right, there's a boat kind of close to us, and he's kind of creeping close to us blackfish and that's what it is so ultimately we were uh, pretty much at the tail end of our fishing right there so i think i come even closer and he didn't realize that what we were doing over there was jigging tidal tails in shallow water all right so we gave him a quick little uh how to want to do that and uh, see if he can get on some fish very it's not exactly easy to do i did my best to kind of give him a little push into the right direction no not at all hopefully you get on to me you guys jigging or are you using uh... no i have i've never used them. That's what we're doing. No, these are all the jigs, but oh, they're not, we're not jigging. I think there's a fish right there. So, they're jigs, but they're not like jigs and they're like a bucket. No, you're not going to jig a bucket. You're going to let it sit in the bottom. 
I got you. That's it. Yeah. So you cut, you're gonna cut the crab in half. Take Roll the shell off it. Don't do a damn thing. Let's sit. You're gonna feel oh, it. Yeah. You're gonna feel the tap, and you'll feel bend the tap. Once you feel the tap, don't send over. Lift the rod tip. Right you feel the weight, then blast them. What they'll do is they're, they're multiple fish are gonna go at that at one time, so they're all gonna go at one's gonna literally pick it up. And that's the one that's got in its mouth. If you start setting a hook on jigs, you're gonna body hook them and do all foul hooking them. Oh, okay. oh, so you're lifting the sheet. You're lifting to see if the weight's there, and once she's the weight's there, you're gonna set the you know set snap at it. I gotta grab one. Yeah, it's it's a real weird way. It's, it's fishing blackfish on jigs, not jigging. Right, right, right. But people right. say jigging black. Jig, but they're not right. right. They're not like fuck down. Right, so I'm getting bit right now. I'm just not reacting to it. I'm waiting for the real pull on it. Mikey, when you ready? Oh, they're chewing. They're chewing, brother. They're starting to chew. Oh, I got, I got you, Mark. I got you. That's a nice fish. Stop it, stop it. Heavy drag on this thing. I don't see this freaking sun. Yeah, it's hard, man. Eh? Oh my god, oh my god. That's it. That's it. Mark, you swallowed that thing. You almost see it. You almost see it. Oh, there it goes. That's a nice fish. I don't. We let him go. We let him go in front of everybody. That's a big fucking fish right there. Oh jeez! Just knocked him unconscious. That's how you do it right there, baby. Nice one. There you go, guys, right there. Going back in. Do it right here. You got hold that one away from you. That's me. You guys can catch him. <laughs> yeah, we'll come back after you catch him. Wolf. Big fish right there. Big one. Back to play again. All right, folks, now let's go into a quick little uh, montage of my boy Mikey right now. He's on fish like crazy. Here's a couple of quick fish for Mikey. All right, seriously, you gonna put a clean? He's locked in right now. He's locked in. That's a nice one. <laughs> oh shit, it's not my kid. Leave it in the water, leave it in the water. That's what I'm saying. Another one. Ah. <laughs> oh boy. What's going on, Garrett? Mike's put on a show over here. <laughs> Vicious. It's another one. Mike, you knocked his teeth in the sea. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Hang some Mike! How many we got in the box? Nah, seriously, I need a fire extinguisher right now. <laughs> Is that another good one, Mike? I don't know. I don't think it's great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mike's got a magnet on that. Yeah, Mike. And Gary just went to Japan. <laughs> That is exactly what Blackfish is about right there, what Gary just did. Shenanigans, shenanigans, jump in the spot. Oh, here's the part where he pays Dave to say nice things about him. Pathetic. Kid coaches, there ain't none better. And if you really want a good time and catch a lot of fish, see the kid, baby. <laughs>
here goes the taste test. What was this? The mix of what? This is Jerry Rice's half Manhattan, half New England, with blackfish seasoned with Old Bay. Very Two seconds. Are there any vegetables in here? There's a carrot. Hi, right, ladies. Here we go. Hi, guys. It's very hot, so you gotta be very careful with this. Taxi. Of course, I have to throw a sound effect in it. That's what I do, right? The audience demands sound effects. But seriously delicious, it's the Manhattan clam chowder with the uh, New England clam chowder. It's like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich right there, right? Throw a little fresh blackfish in there, season with Old Bay. It's the Jerry Weiss technique. He talked to me out about it on the boat. I thought it'd be cool to throw out to you guys as a quick, uh, catch, it's not catch and cook, it's just a quick recipe, all right? That's what I'm trying to do here. If I like it, I send it out to you cats, all right? Thanks for watching Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. That's gonna do it for today's episode. Next week, I'm going out with the gypsies, baby. You'll see that. It's going to be a great video. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Subscribe if you like. Like if you subscribe. All that jazz, all right? One love. Are you filming me? Yeah, of course. Don't she's, film. She's a glamour. <laughs> hey, folks, thanks for watching Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. Consider subscribing below and like if you like. I appreciate those likes. It shows me some love. All right? Also, next week, great episode. Captain Josh on the gypsy charters. Anthony Masha Jr., Big Stripe Bass in the ocean. And there's a great giveaway too, go figure. Take care everybody, brush your hair.